Hey guys, welcome to the first video on my new channel devoted to uh, instructional videos explaining math concepts and uh, um, solving math problems. My math videos are a little special because they also feature um, artists and music lightly in the background that I enjoy. Um, just because I think it makes learning about math a little more interesting, as many people hate math. Uh, so today, as you're listening, please enjoy uh, Red Bone by Childish Gambino as we talk about sine, cosine, and tangent, uh, which is a geometry concept, uh, and it's very important for all future math after geometry. So, um, basically, uh, when we're talking about sine, cosine, and tangent, uh, trigonometric um, functions, we're talking about right triangles, and um, basically you have a right triangle where this angle is always 90 degrees, and you have an angle represented by theta. Um, theta can be in this corner or in this corner. Um, for our purposes, I'm going to represent it in the bottom right. Um, but this, it doesn't really change any of this. So, when we're talking about the sides of a triangle, we're talking about them in relation to theta. So, this sign side here being adjacent to theta, this side being opposite to theta, and this side being the hypotenuse of the triangle. So, uh, when we talk about sine, cosine, and tangent, we use this um, phrase you've probably heard, Soka Toa. Soka Toa. Um, it's just a nice way of remembering what sine, cosine, and tangent do, is it's easy to mix them up and it's easy to forget. So, so means that sine equals opposite over hypotenuse, which is written here. Sine of theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. Which over here would be re uh, represented by the sine of this angle equals the opposite side over the hypotenuse side. Um, so that's so. Ka means that cosine equals the adjacent over the hypotenuse, the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. And tangent equals opposite over adjacent. Toa. So ka toa. So just if you remember that, um, if you're in the middle of a test and you forget what sine, cosine, and tangent are, you can always remember Sokotoa. Uh, so, uh, down here I've written up an example. Um, pardon my mistake up here. So, here we have our triangle. Um, and it says, given that side AB is congruent to side BC, the angle A equals 45 degrees, and that the triangle ABC is a right triangle, find sine of theta, cosine of theta, and tangent of theta. So, there's a few steps that are involved in solving this problem. First, you need to know all of the sides of the triangle, and in this picture, it's only written that we have one, but it's very easy to solve for the others. This, it's given in the beginning of the problem that side AB is concurrent to side BC, and that's also represented in the picture. Um, if you're unfamiliar with this notation, that's what these little red lines represent. They represent congruency. Um, oh, and keep in mind that this picture is not to scale. Um, so if this side equals 5, and this side is congruent to this side, then this side must also equal 5, the adjacent side. And we know by Pythagorean's theorem, which is a squared plus b squared equals c squared, that we can solve for this hypotenuse being c squared. Um, so if we do a squared 5 plus b squared equals c squared, well then we can easily solve for that. That equals 25 plus 25 equals c squared, which means 50 equals c squared, which means the square root of 50 equals c. Um, and you can simplify that 
Um, let's go ahead and do that. So you can pull out a 25 and a 2. So this is root 2 times root 25. And we know that the root of 25 is 5. So this is just equal to 5 root 2. Um, so we know that this side, the hypotenuse, is equal to 5 root 2. Alright, so now we have all of our sides, which means we can easily plug them in to the SOHCAHTOA formula. So if we want to find sine of cosine, or sine of theta, excuse me, we want to know what sine of theta equals. Well, we know that sine equals the opposite over the hypotenuse. Um, so in relation to theta, the opposite is 5, and the hypotenuse is 5 root 2. So sine equals 5 over 5 root 2. Um, and we can simplify this. As a general rule, you really don't want to have a root in your denominator. Um, so to do that, we can uh, multiply by root 2 over root 2, which will give us 5 root 2 over 5 root 2 times root 2, which equals 2. So 5 times 2 is 10. And that just equals uh, root 2 over 2, because uh, the 5 and the 10 cancel out. So we know that the sine of theta equals root 2 over 2. Uh, now the cosine of theta, we want to know what that equals. Well, we know that the cosine of theta is adjacent over hypotenuse. Uh, so in relation to theta, your adjacent side is 5, and your hypotenuse is 5 root 2. So the cosine of theta is 5 over 5 root 2. And since that's the same as theta, we can say that that also equals root 2 over 2. And so we can say that the cosine of theta also equals root 2 over 2. I'm sorry for blending that together. I'll draw a box around it so it separates it. Um, and our last one, we want to know what tangent of theta equals. And we know that tangent is equal to opposite over adjacent. So in relation to theta, our opposite is 5. Our adjacent is 5, so this one's easy. Tangent of theta equals 5 over 5, which equals 1. Um, so now we have our sine, our cosine, and our tangent, which is all we asked for. Tangent of theta equals 1. And um, that's how you solve the problem. And um, I just want to mention the givens. It tells you that the angle A equals 45 degrees. Um, I, the only reason I mentioned that is so you can check your work. So if you have your, you take your calculator. I'll move this up so you can see it. Um, and you want to make sure it's in degree mode. Uh, if you have a graphing calculator, of course. So you would want to press the mode button. And make sure it's in degrees, see mine's in radians. Um, and then you can just check your work. You can do sine of 45 degrees, and you get this decimal. But we found that sine of theta equals root 2 over 2. So if you plug in root 2 divided by 2, you see that they're equivalent, and you know that you're correct. We could do the same for cosine. Obviously, you're going to get the same answer, and you could do the same for tangent and you get one, which is the same answer that we got. So that's just to check your work. Um, you probably won't get that in every problem. Um, you could also deduce that both of these, ang or, yeah, both A and theta equal 45 degrees because these sides are equivalent. Um, but yeah, so that's just a nice way to check your work. So even if they don't give this to you, if these two sides are equivalent, you know these two angles are equivalent and you could check your work that way. So that's it for today's video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you learned something. And um, um, if you have any suggestions on what kinds of videos you would want to see in the future, please leave a comment, uh, and I will be happy to address those. And 
that's it for now. So, um, see you later.